While the Trump administration's tariffs on steel, aluminum, and Chinese-made goods have earned most of the headlines, another more obscure set of Trump-backed import duties are hitting Americans squarely in the booze cabinet. Since October, the U.S. has charged a new 25% tariff on single malt scotch whiskey, part of a broader set of levies targeting hundreds of European cultural items, including Italian pasta, German ham, and English wool. The 25% tariff is expected to cause scotch exports to the United States to drop by 20% over a year. Practically, the tariff means that what used to be a $40 bottle of scotch is now going to set you back more than 50 bucks. Smaller distilleries will be particularly hard hit because the tariff specifically targets single malt scotch whiskey. That means that blended varieties like those sold by most major brands are exempt, so those prices will likely remain the same. Some small batch producers, like the Fife-based Kings Barn Distillery, are reportedly delaying their plans to tap into the lucrative and growing U.S. market because of the new tariffs. Trump has repeatedly reached for tariffs, which are really nothing more than taxes paid by American importers and consumers, as part of a misguided attempt to force other countries to negotiate trade deals with the U.S. But the Scotch tariffs are somewhat separate from the current administration's myriad trade wars. Whiskey has become collateral damage in a long-running spat between the U.S. and the European Union over subsidies to, of all things, airplane manufacturers. The World Trade Organization gave the U.S. permission to impose those tariffs on EU exports last year, including on whiskey, after the U.S. claimed that Airbus was being unfairly subsidized by the French government. The main rival to Airbus is, of course, Washington state-based Boeing, a heavy hitter in American politics that's also the recipient of generous corporate welfare. The whole episode demonstrates the foolishness of tariffs. American consumers of whiskey, wine, and wool are not subsidizing Airbus, but people and businesses on both sides of the Atlantic are being punished simply for trying to amicably trade what they have for what they want. Whiskey distillers have always had to account for the angel's share, that's small amounts of whiskey that are lost to evaporation during the aging process, but now thanks to the Trump administration, they have to plan for the tariff man's cut too.